outdoor activities, shadow drawings. This shadow art activity is a fun way to teach your children about shapes and light. Take a look around your neighborhood for shadows or use objects to create your own shadows. Shadow art is great at any season, but I love shadow art in the winter. The snow is already the perfect canvas and you can see the beautiful shadows. Aha, this looks like something I would love to draw. You can get creative by creating a clipboard with a cereal box or any piece of cardboard and clip your paper on. Winter weather usually means windy days. And as you can see, my art is dancing on the page as I try to trace. Did you notice how dark the shadow is on the piece of paper? Much darker than it was on the snow. This makes it really easy to trace. Trees and shrubs, stop signs, fences. There's so many different shadows out there. Take a walk about to find the shadows that you would like to trace. Another great way to create shadow art is using a board and a favorite toy. You can make all different scenes. Check it out. I'm going to trace my robot. Only he might not be a robot anymore. I haven't quite decided. You can use any toys that you like or objects from nature to create your very own picture scene. Exploring shadows is an endless opportunity for learning. There's so many things to wonder about. Like, why is the shadow bigger than the object? How come sometimes when I go outside, there are no shadows? And what makes shadows and what doesn't? And how come when I move, my shadow's moving with me? These are all great questions to wonder. Try getting outside at different times of the day and notice something about the shadows. I wonder what you'll discover. I love how the sunlight really exaggerates the shape. The shadow almost doesn't look the same as the toy here. It's so big and it looks quite different. Have you noticed your own shadow when you stand outside? Does it look like you? Shadow art creates a great opportunity to get outside, but we can also bring our artwork inside and try coloring or painting or just leaving it as it is. You can also change your whole design of what it's going to be. I think I'm gonna make this a different flower, one I've never seen before that has all different colors on it. Take a look. I've got my green stems. I think I'll add a little bit of pink. Ah, that looks nice. These are fuzzball flowers. They only exist in my imagination or at least I think they do. Maybe I'll add, hmm, a little bit more down here. Yes, lots of pink. I like this color. Reminds me a little bit of strawberries. Now I'm gonna add some purple. Yes, these are gonna be purple and pink flowers. It's great to get creative and use your imagination. You could draw things that maybe just for you or things that you'd like to see. I'd love to see a flower like this growing in my garden with all different colors, nice and tall. And I hope when I touch it, it's nice and soft and smells like bubblegum. Now, of course you can see, I have this big shark here. Thanks to the shadow, he's so big. He's got pointy teeth and a top fin, but I think I'm gonna add a different color eye, a red eye and a smile. He's a pretty happy shark. And polka dots. I've never seen a white and polka dot shark before. So I thought I'd add some red polka dots and green polka dots and yellow polka dots. Why not? Oh, I really hope I find one of these one day in the ocean. This was my robot, if you remember. I used a robot and 
a shark, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. He's not a robot anymore. He is a snow person in a hat and he has red mittens. There's just something about red mittens. They just look so nice and warm. And give him a little scarf because it's cold outside. And he's pretty happy about that. He's got his pants on. He's getting ready to go outside. Maybe he'll do some shadow drawing with his pet shark. It'd be so great to have a pet shark. Now this one's gonna be a gray shark and he has gray eyes and a smile. He is so happy and he's really happy because he has a lollipop. So get ready and get outside and see if you can catch a shadow.